Hi, I'm Tony Mansfield, and I'm your MDNA expert. Well, the APAC region is without doubt the most interesting region in the power industry right now. With a view that uh, APAC is going to expand probably in the region of 80% in the next 25 years, and expanding the fastest of any region right now in the world. Um, MDNA is well set up to support both the legacy equipment that's in place now that will firm renewable energy, as well as the fleets that are rolling out now for the future. Uh, right now, specifically, uh, MDNA is supporting um, the 7F fleet in Asia, in mainly the developed uh, world, uh, primarily Japan and Korea. Uh, we are um, at the moment supporting the legacy power stations to enable them to maintain operation in challenging environments as the renewable energy is, is rolled out. Um, there's a requirement for flexible power generation and MDNA is, is well positioned and currently one of the leading third parties supporting Japan. Specifically with the V94 fleet, for example, on the V94.3, MDNA right now is supporting those customers that are transitioning out of long-term service agreements and who want to be self-maintaining. Um, we're helping them position themselves to enable them to be flexible for the future. Really, Asia doesn't know how it's going to be operating in the future. And power companies have realised they need to keep flexibility in their portfolios to be competitive in the future. We're well positioned to support that. Communication is absolutely critical in what we do. Um, customers actually have said to us that one of the biggest differentiators of MDNA is our ability to communicate and react fast with their requests. Uh, I've got plenty of examples really where MDNA has supported a customer with phone calls from overnight and our team have engaged the next day. Um, that differentiates us from the OEMs and actually our competition. Um, specifically in Asia, we are seen as elite. MDNA has been really successful uh, in the APAC region, um, most recently with very fast reaction emergency requirements. Uh, one of our customers in Vietnam actually came off uh, to discover that their journals and their bearings were uh, very distressed. Um, they were unable to work with the OEM in a timely fashion that would enable them to keep on track in their outage. Uh, also, traditional supporting third parties were simply not able to react. MDNA was able to put the journal machine uh, equipment on a plane and the team on a plane, as well as getting the bearings over and returned faster than our competition could execute terms and conditions negotiations. And that really, that customer was just so happy with, uh, with, our, with our performance. Well, one of the biggest challenges that APAC's uh, suffering right now, and actually the whole world is, is how you apply uh, renewable energy to your existing grid, but still firm it up for that day when you have grey weather, you have, a, you have a monsoon come through and all your wind turbines are shut down. You still need something there to, to back up. Uh, to firm uh, your renewable capacity. Um, conventional and older flexible gas turbine power stations are able to fill that void uh, with a very fast reaction uh, power supply, power delivery. Those older legacy gas turbines is something our industrial gas turbine team is uh, well set up to support and we're able to cost effectively keep those engines on the grid ready to react uh, in an environment where renewable energy has really uh, taken hold. In my spare time, I, I have a competitive side, so I'm really into my karting. And luckily, I live in Singapore and we have a wonderful karting track. So, uh, yeah, the weekends I find myself down on the racetrack and it gives me, gets my engineer side out of me. I get to tinker with a kart and get out there and race with people. It's fantastic. That's my, that's my fun side. <laughs>